Hello everyone, today we're taking a look at Cyberside, an MS-DOS virus that pays tribute to Sweden, who is recovering from a devastating and imaginary terrorist attack as we speak. Now the way Cyberside infects files is actually pretty interesting, because not only does it infect them while they're run, but it also infects them during directory listings and when you're trying to figure out how large your disk is. So we'll go ahead and demonstrate this. We'll do one quick directory listing here. We will see, it goes on through very smoothly and is done. We will run CyberSide and do that again, and every time it finds a .com file, it will infect it, which slows down the directory listing. So, the virus is in memory, and once again, we'll just do a simple directory listing, and we will see and hear the disk activity, and every time it finds a .com file, it infects it. Now, normally we know graphics.com, 19,742. However, when we look at it, nothing has changed, because CyberSide is also stealthy. So other than the noticeably slower performance when files are infected, you wouldn't notice any file size increases once you're infected with CyberSide. Let's move along to what it actually does. First and foremost, when you type the word annoy, and A-N-O-I, it adds is around. And this follows you everywhere. So if we're in edit, and we're writing a cool paper, cool paper right here, about annoy. Maybe that's something you gotta write about. Well, now you're gonna have to do it with a bunch of backspacing. Although it seemed like that worked pretty well, uh, I hit backspace and it just kind of backspaced the whole thing. So the virus is actually kind of polite in this regard, which, you know, I appreciate. I appreciate that. It touches my heart. You'll have to look carefully to see this one, but look in each of the four corners of the screen when we hit any control alt delete or even just alt delete. We don't even have to control alt delete, so look all you want, but it has changed the four corners of the screen to A N O I. So once again, annoy is around. I get it? Around? Because it's literally around your screen. Get it? For the last payload that we can take a look at on this machine, we'll simply change the time to midnight. I know, that wrong note infuriates me too. But anyway, we get a message with the Swedish flag also stating, I hereby proclaim this computer as the property of Annoy. All hail Darth Vader. Nice. So now we're going to switch over to a virtual machine, because for whatever reason, I've tried this on several different computers, but this next payload always hangs. So let's move right along. Okay, here we are on the virtual machine. We'll take a look at one last payload for Cyberside. Go ahead and execute the virus, and it activates 10 hours on every Saturday after it becomes memory resident. So we will change the time to 11 o'clock should work. There we go. And this is why I mentioned Sweden, because we get this nice Swedish flag that follows us whenever we do anything. Even in edit, it looks pretty neat. Typing a paper so we can rep Sweden. Yeah, boy. And that's really about it. However, there is one more variant of this, which you might be familiar with if you know the title of this video and you've seen my old video on it. So if you've seen my previous video on CyberSide, this is the variant that you might be a little more familiar with. We'll go ahead and change the time to noon and run this virus. And once again, we'll change the time forward as it activates in the same manner 10 hours after becoming memory resident on Saturdays. So 11 p.m. Instead of the Swedish flag, we get a giant swastika, which also follows us everywhere. So directory listing infects all the files with Nazism. Go into edit. We are just, just, it's just totally Hitler all the way down. Like, we just type Hitler. It's trying to go back to blue, but it's not working. It's, it's staying red. It's repping the Reich this time. We're not repping Sweden anymore. Okay, welcome back to the 386. I hope you enjoyed those last two payloads on the virtual machine. And for the second variant of CyberSide, there's only one little change to show you. Everything else, the annoy payloads, everything else is exactly the same as we saw it the first time. However, 
when we change to midnight on this machine with the second variant, we get a different message. So, instead of the Swedish flag, and uh, shout out to Darth Vader, we get a slightly more offensive message saying that this computer has been proclaimed the property of Nazis and Heil Hitler. So, I guess now you have a voice clip of me saying Heil Hitler. So, that'll, that'll go over well, I'm sure. But, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. That is about it for Cyberside and its two variants. Thank you for watching. Take care.